Well, happy Saturday, folks. The Real Captain Kirk here. We're live from one Bethlehem Plaza here in downtown Bethlehem here. It's a gloomy day. Uh, lows in the 40s and highs in the 50s here and occasional showers, so not the best of weekends uh, here at uh, 360. thought we'd do a year-to-date uh, rainfall summer here, so 1 January through today here. Uh, a little misleading here. I got on a national scale. We're actually the driest in 10 years uh, versus last year. With this time, we were the wettest in 26 years. So there's certainly been a lot of buzz on the heavy rain and flooding rain from Arkansas, Tennessee, Kentucky, but really, about 66% of us are still in dry to drought phases. So it's really been that, um, you know, uh, Mississippi, uh, Tennessee Valley there, Kentucky Valley areas where there's, uh, again, upwards of 25 inches in some areas there in southwest Kentucky. So it's been isolated. And I think that Bermuda High that's just been anchored in the southeast and then occasional cold fronts coming through and it's just stuck in the middle. So it just can't, uh, keeps raining over the same areas. Looking at Q1 here, now this is February through April. So part of this is in the history book and part of this is about a, Month left of the forecast here, but overall it looks like we were about 1.7 cooler than last year uh, for the quarter, still above average. Minus five percent drier than last year, still above average, and 40 percent snowier, but that was below average. So the trends show very cold February. These are year-on-year -year trends now. All of these maps and charts. How our retail customers would look at the weather here, but uh, very unfavorable with Feb February. Again, you want to see warm, dry. Had a good uptick uh, there in mid-March. Uh, unfortunately, some severe weather as well, and then now kind of a dicey up and down April. So again. Uh, not the extremely warm conditions we've had here the for the end of end of March here. So overall, kind of a, a net negative here for on top of all the other buzz with tariffs. Uh, again, this will probably be a softer than expected uh, Q1. So if your 401ks are going down here with the tariffs, they're probably going to go down a little bit more when these retail sales trail, uh, sales trends come out here in the next month or two. Now, looking at severe weather here today, had a, after a lull here uh, previous week and now this past week, a big big uptick. Added 134 tornadoes, 467 hail events, and 978 wind events. So tornadoes now are again trending a little more than last year, a third most in 15 years. Hail and wind are the big cases. Hail's most in eight years. I haven't seen this in a long time. Wind cases most in eight years. Good news is we're going to get a lull here the next uh, seven to ten days here after we look at Saturday, Sunday, Monday here. These uh, severe weather threats are shifting to the southeast and then diminishing here. So this is uh, near the end of this uh, latest severe weather outbreak. Look at the world uh, summer here, weekending here today, 5 April here. Here in the U.S., 1.7 warm in last year, warmest in eight years, six warmest in 40 years. Or tail of two halves, again, cold west, warm east. That's not what you want. When you got the cold to the west and the warmer to the east, you're going to have a, a battleground in the middle, and that's where we've had all this severe weather. Rainfall's off the scale here, 61% wetter than last year, number one wettest with all that flooding there in the central U.S. Um, snowfall down about 9%. Very, very cold across Canada, so cold, wet, uh, no spring up there yet. Uh, very unfavorable for their sales. Uh, the winners would probably be in the U.K., uh, warmest in eight years. Uh, Europe, for sure, number one warmest in 40 years. Russia, number one warmest in 40 years. So better trends, warm, dry in U.K., Europe, certainly a plus for them. <clears throat> if we look at the 14-day uh, forecast maps here, we can see the... Uh, System moving uh, out into the southeast here. So this is the on the way out here. We need it to move. Uh, so good news is that Bermuda High, you can see it's shifting uh, further out into the Atlantic, and that's allowing this uh, system to finally move off the east coast here. So a little bit of a lull, a uh, drier pattern here, except for the, maybe the Pacific Northwest. And we'll see here maybe some colder weather returning as we get closer toward uh, Easter weekend. We look at this week here again, uh, weekend of the 12th of April here. Again, flip-flop pattern. We go from cold in the west, now we've got warm in the west, and uh, Pretty cool here in the east. In fact, downright cold here midweek here in the east. Overall, 2.3 cooler than last year. Coolest in three years nationally. Uh, 19th coolest in 40 years, so average. But again, tail of two halves, cold east, warm west. Snowfall actually up 84%. Still uh, most in three, but uh, still 12th least, so not, not a ton of snow. 21% uh, drier than last year. 15th wettest in 40 years. So, But again, <clears throat> a little bit of an improving trend here. Getting some of that heavier rain. Um, Kind of in the southeast where they need it because it's been very, very dry, but uh, got to keep it out of that Arkansas, Kentucky areas where they've been so hard hit. We'll look at the six day snowfall trends here again, 103% uh, more than last year for this period, 11th most in six years. Um, snow for about 26% of us, but unusual places here. Look at this in Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, snow, uh, inch or two. Uh, that's crazy here Sunday behind this cold front. Uh, that'll move into the northeast with some light, very, very light snow, and then uh, maybe some enhanced uh, area. Tuesday's going to be a downright frigid day, Tuesday, Wednesday here in the east. Um, Highs near in the 40s, uh, lows well into the low to mid 20s. So severe, hard freeze and frost. Some of the plants that are out are going to get uh, kind of cooked here as we go into midweek with this cold snap. I think we aggregate these uh, six-day trends. So again, you see the snowy spots there in the Southern Rockies and New England. So um, not entirely spring in those areas just yet. If we look at this last week here, weekending the 19th of April, a week before Easter, 
a little bit of a warming trend here nationally here. Still cooler year on year, but uh, about half a degree cooler. Six warms in 40 years. Snowfall down at about 9%. We're going to stop talking snow here pretty quick here as we get into mid-April. And 19% drier. So warm, dry. Again, uh, slightly favorable trends for the week prior Easter. Again, just on a year-on-year -year basis, it's uh, not as favorable um, as we had a year ago. And if we look at these world two-week outlook trends, again, the general theme is they're going to be kind of a cooling trend. Great Lakes Northeast, uh, Mid-Atlantic, and a uh, warming trend for the western half of the country. Um, Europe, again, it's... Um, uh, a little bit warmer there in uh, France, Germany, uh, UK, so good news there. Again, warm, dry is what we want to see. Uh, we look at the precip trends here. Again, UK uh, continues to be generally on the dry side, so again, favorable spring trends for them, and the U.S. is obviously drying out a bit as well. So with that, folks, we hope you have a great week ahead, and uh, we'll be back here again this time next week. Mm -hmm.